It's a cold morning in the mountains of Victoria's Yuyangs Regional Park and Professor Peter Taylor is off the beaten track. He's in training for one of his life's passions, rogaining. The, the official phrase is long distance cross country navigation in teams. The sport was created at the University of Melbourne in the 1970s, where Professor Taylor is now Chair of Operations Research in Mathematics and Statistics, disciplines that have given him a handy skill set for the strategic route planning required for row gaining. Teams of two can be in the field for up to 24 hours, searching for checkpoints that are worth a differing number of points. This is pretty challenging because you start midday Saturday, you're going to keep going to midday Sunday. It's totally up to you how you attack this. You've got the map, you've got where the points are, you have to walk, and it's amazing how far some teams can go in, in that time. Navigating complex scenarios is also part of Professor Taylor's day job. He works in the field of applied probability, where he's achieved significant advances in the theoretical analysis of models. My niche in research is to come up with mathematical models that give insight into systems. Particularly ones driven by random processes. You know, designing algorithms, computational methods, things like that to get some type of information out of the equations and then sort of seeing what happens. And, and when you see something that gives you insight in what's happening in, in the real world, you feel like you've got your own little selfish piece of insight that I now understand that when I didn't understand it before. Those insights could include applying queuing theory to the operations of a call centre. Call centres don't have queues of people standing in line, but they do have queues of people queued up electronically. Then you have servers that have different skills, you have customers that have different requirements, so the whole thing can get quite complicated. Professor Taylor is currently supervising a PhD student looking at that very problem, working out how to prioritise calls, ensuring the right servers are paired with the right callers. The same theory could be extended to many other situations, including healthcare. Things like hospital emergency departments, you know, how do you prioritise the resources you've got? How do you make decisions about who, who treats who or who sees who? Once you start thinking about it, there are many, many systems in society that, that are like this. His ability to use mathematics to solve real-world problems has now seen Professor Taylor elected a Fellow of the Australian Academy of Science. He says he hopes that serves as inspiration to people considering a career in maths. You could be a mathematician, you could be a statistician, you could be a data scientist, you could be an ana analytics expert. They're all really requiring similar skills. And there are massive, massive opportunities for people with those skills. Mentoring is something close to Professor Taylor's heart. He likes to think of his PhD students as his academic children. What they collectively can do is more than what I can do myself. The way that you can multiply what you can do by, by influencing young people is, is something I'm really proud of. And when they face inevitable challenges and setbacks, he gives them the same advice he applies to the sport of row gaining. If you do it, and if you come through it, and if you feel like you handled it okay, it does something for your, for your confidence in the rest of life. Mm -hmm.